Oh my god, it's a pig. What up guys, it's Brandon J, and today is a very special day. I actually just drove all the way down to Florida. I'm gonna be fishing ponds that I grew up fishing. These are the ponds that I've really learned how to fish on. So these are really, really special to me. Now, I don't have much time because I've got some family plans considering I just came into town. Uh, so I have about 30, 40 minutes to fish, not, not long. So uh, I'm gonna see if I can get like one or two out of here. There used to be some pretty good fish in here, but it's been about, I don't know, it's been a while. So I don't really know uh, what all is in here now, if there's big fish, but small fish, no fish. I know they have put chemicals in this pond recently just because we are in a suburban neighborhood. So they kill all the uh, really nice aquatic plants that the fish like, basically so it's aesthetically pleasing for everybody else. It's no good. All right, so we don't have much time. Let's go ahead and put the camera down. I've got the chest mount on. I'm gonna be filming with that. Let's get to fishing, man. There he is. It's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Get him out, get him out. Look. There he goes. That's a nice fish right there. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Well, I haven't been out here too long and um, I was throwing the jig around. Wasn't really getting too much. Through the fluke, missed one. I knew it was a good sign. Toss right back in there. Got a, uh, got a nice little uh, largey here, man. Good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put this, uh, put this guy back, man. Got a good fish. He's a good fish. That's fish. My drag is terrible right now. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good sized fish right there, man. Wow, there we go, that's two. That's the second fish of the day right there. Not a bad one. Oh yeah, he wasn't coming out, man. He's hooked good. That's a good sized fish right there. All right, it was a uh, first cast with a white spinnerbait. Already picked up another fish. Good sized fish, man, second one of the day. All right, guys, well, uh, I just got this bass on this uh, white spinnerbait, so we're gonna go ahead and let this guy go, man. All right, that's the second one of the day. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, oh, he's on the lily pads. Come on, man. I have him, I still see him. Come on, break free. Break free of those lilies. Come on. Oh, there he is. There he is, that's fish number three. <laughs> hey man, this white spinnerbait ain't such a bad gig, man. All right guys, well I threw the uh, spinnerbait out in the uh, lily pads over here and whacked this guy, man. He's not a huge fish, he's probably right, right in at a pound or a little bit under, but the point is they're hitting the spinnerbait. The first cast I caught a two and a half pounder and then uh, a couple casts later, right down the edge of the bank, I caught another one. So I was fishing the fluke the whole area. So I was going along these reeds like you see behind me. I was just following that bank line, just throwing the fluke around that whole bank line and only uh, caught, caught one fish. So this is the uh, second fish of the spinnerbait, third fish of the day, second fish on the spinnerbait. I think we found the pattern. So, all right, let's get this guy released. Gosh, this fish is fighting like crazy. All right. <laughs> fish number four, man, that guy took off. What the heck? <laughs> he took off with the spinnerbait, man. All right, guys, fish number four for the day. Nothing huge, but uh, he, is, he is a good fish. Let me tell you something about this guy, man. He hit that spinnerbait and he took off. Like, like no tomorrow, man. He hit it and I, I could have swore I had a monster. He hit it like, three foot from the bank and took off. I saw the flash on his side and it looked really, really big and the way he was running, I was like, oh man, I got a monster on. This is gonna be great. Turns out, another little, right at one pound probably, but you know, like the other one, it's a fish, I'm out here catching fish. The white spinnerbait is key. The water's a little bit darker, it's a little bit windy, so I put on that white spinnerbait, 
man, they're just nailing it. And they're, and they're being super aggressive. That's how you know you have a fish that is finding exactly what he wants to eat. When he's nailing it like that, you've got your bait, and I'd say stick with that. So I'm gonna stick with the white spinner bait. I'm gonna put this guy back in the water, and then we're gonna keep fishing, because we're catching some fish. All right, buddy, time to let you free. Come on, come on, kick it, kick it, kick it. There you go. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh, he just flew out the water. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're kidding me. This is fish number five. <laughs> he flew out of the water. Guys, I'm not kidding you, maybe a total of like two, two casts maybe? Two casts and like 30 seconds later, fish number five. They're not, they're not huge, but they are, they're good fish, man, so I, I can't complain with that at all. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this guy released, man. Oh, this is my good fish. This might be a good one. Guys, this might be a good one. It's definitely, oh my God, it's a pig. It's a pig. Yes! It's a freaking pig! Oh my god, it is a good bass, man. That is what I'm talking about right there. Look at this thing. This is a pig right here. Woo! Alright guys, I just ended the day on the perfect fish, man. This guy's at least three and a half pounds, three pounds. Uh he he hit that spinnerbait. It took me on a, a ride, man. I thought he was hung up in the lily pads, but he was just that big. So we're going to get a release on this guy in just a minute. It's such a good day to come out here in the ponds uh, that I used to fish growing up and come out here and just slay him today, man. I could not have asked for a better day. We're going to get this guy released, and uh, we're probably going to end it here, man. All right, guys, so well, that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I came out here, man, and just slayed some fish on the spinnerbait. Like I said, man, it's so nice coming out here to a pond that I fished my whole childhood growing up. This is a pond that I actually learned how to fish in. Really learned like the pattern of bass, what bass eat, what they don't eat, what they like, what they don't like. I ran so many lures through here as a kid trying to find out what worked and what didn't work. So it's so nice coming back home from college after so long of not fishing this pond and absolutely slaying some fish today on a spinnerbait. And I haven't even used the spinnerbait since I was like, Probably in like middle school, maybe early high school, but uh, man, I gotta say that that was just awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a big old thumbs up if you enjoyed as well. Like I told you previously, man, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of awesome Florida adventures. This is just the very beginning. Hopefully we're gonna get on some uh, saltwater stuff. I'm gonna call some of my friends with bass boats and hopefully uh, I can get them on board to take me out. So. I gotta say though, man, this pond stuff is, uh, is pretty exciting. So thank you again for watching, man. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.